So my first sign of scleroderma was not being able to get out of bed easily on a morning. All my um, joints, ankles and knees seized up and I couldn't walk very well. I went to the doctors and they told me it was all in my head and to go away and sleep on it as such and things would improve, which obviously it didn't. So I had to take more trips back to the doctors till eventually I got a referral to rheumatology. After being diagnosed with scleroderma, I obviously Googled it and I was distraught at my diagnosis. I thought it was the end of the world. I wouldn't ever get married. I wouldn't settle down. I wouldn't have children. But reading up on it and speaking to the consul and, and being positive, I realised that life can still go on and you can still do the things you want to do. I struggle with my tiredness. I get very, very tired. I often go to bed at the same time as the children do, <laughs> which isn't really much of a life. And unfortunately, I, have to, I feel like I'm turning down social events sometimes because I am just too tired to, to do it. I haven't got the strength at the end of a day of looking after the children and myself, then I'm quite happy to just be tucked up in bed. <laughs> My Reynards is quite severe. I really struggle to do what the normal person would do, especially on a cold day. If I go out and take the children to school, I have to leave the doors unlocked because I can't put the key in the door to open it. I can't do zips, can't do seat belts in cars. So I have to plan my life around the weather and air conditioning in supermarkets. So it does interfere with my daily life as much as I'd like it not to and try and work around it, but I do struggle with it sometimes. I work for the NHS. I look after children with complex health needs. So it's quite a physical demanding job. A lot of the children are very ill. And unfortunately, with me being prescribed methotrexate, which is an immune suppressant, it's not a good combination of poly children and me with scleroderma. Work have been really good with me. They have tried um, to do things to change my working environment, but it, it's almost impossible when that is your job. I have changed my shift pattern, so I've cut out nights and I've tried doing shorter days, but that doesn't work for the NHS as they need me. So unfortunately, I've had to just come to, come to the decision that it's not the right place for me. Um, it's a hard decision, but if it's gonna, give you a better quality of life with your family, I think that's the overall picture that people are aiming for. You've got to, you, obviously your family are the people that come first. We've got a dog <laughs> because um, it keeps me active. It gets me out and about. I have to force myself, no matter how bad I'm feeling, even if it's just 200 metres down the street, just, just to get her out. My family keep me positive. My children, they don't give me time to sit and stew up on anything. I've got to keep going, keep active because taking them to school and, and such and taking them to out of school activities, they, they keep me going. If it wasn't for them, I think I'd probably be in a different place. Mm -hmm.